Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, scale 7, we are going to discuss a question that has come for uh, Cochin University in the year 2019, November 2019. It's a diagonal scale. The question says, an area of 50,000 meter square is represented by a map by a rectangular rectangular area whose length and breadth are 10 cm and 8 cm respectively. What does it mean? 28, 80 cm square represents 50,000 meter square. Agreed? 80 cm square represents 50,000 meter square. You have to find out the RF first. You are, you are requested to construct a diagonal scale to measure up to a meter, that's a, your smallest unit is a meter and you are asked to show 235 meters on it. So first, first of all, from the given data, you have to find out the RF. RF is square root of area in the drawing divided by actual area. That is square root of 80 divided by 50,000 into 10 to the power of 4. Why 10 to the power of 4? Because you want to convert it into centimeter square. 80 is centimeter square, so the denominator also has to be centimeter square. That will give you R of 1 by 2500. So the R of the scale is determined first from the given area and the original area. R of is 1 by 2500. Now, the length, maximum length to be measured is not given. The accuracy is given as 1 meter. You are asked to draw the scale and show 235 meters on it. I will assume the maximum length to be measured is either 300 or 400 or 500 or 600 and so on. I assume it is 500 meters. So maximum length 500 meters. Therefore length of scale is equal to R of into maximum length equals 500 into 100 converting into centimeters divided by 2500 I get 20 centimeters. So what is 20 centimeters? 20 centimeters is the length of the scale. 20 centimeters is the length of the scale. 20 centimeters, 200 I draw a rectangle whose length is 20 centimeters and the breadth is say 5 centimeters. I have told you in the beginning of diagonal scale that when you construct a diagonal scale, if the length is more than 15 centimeters, preferably keep a width of 5 centimeters for a reasonably impressive appearance. Agreed? Okay. So I construct a rectangle whose length is 20 centimeters, which you cannot change, you have calculated, and the breadth is 5 centimeters. Okay, what does this length represent? This length represents 500 meters. Agreed? I divide it into 5 equal parts so that each division represents 100 meters. Okay, 0, 1, I mean 100, 200, 300, 400 meters. Instead of writing 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, I can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then what is the unit? Hectometers. Hectometers. 400 meters is 4 hectometers. Either way you can do. Okay. Or you can write 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. What is the unit? Decameter. Anyway you can do. Okay. I do it like this. Now, the leftmost division is there for 100 meters. 100 meter, 100 meter, 100 meter, 100 meter, 100 meter. I divide this into 10 equal parts so that each division represents 10 meter. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I make the divisions on the top also and then I draw in blind lines. You know the need of drawing inclined lines in diagonal scales. Okay. Then I divide the vertical height into 10 equal parts. Because each division is 10 meters, you are going to divide it into 10 equal parts so that each vertical division represents 1 meter. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10 meter. Here also meter, here also meter. This completes the construction of the diagonal scale, required diagonal scale. Now you are asked to show some distance. How much is the distance? 235. From here to here it is 200, 210, 220, 230, then go up. 231, 32, 33, 34, 35. PQ. PQ equals 200 and 235 meters. That is one way of representing it. Or you can draw a vertical line at P, a vertical line at Q, connect them. Connect them by a horizontal line, put arrowheads 235 meters. 
that completes the solution. It's not a difficult question, very reasonable question. Okay. Thank you.